Yes, I lied to Gail King. Megan the Stallion released her first documentary called Megan the Stallion in her own words, her story, her life on Amazon Prime on October 30th, 2024. I did get a chance to watch uh, the entire interview and in this um, video, I'm going to share my thoughts, my opinions and some background information. Please subscribe to this channel and please follow my journey. If you're from Reva's or DoorDash Challenge, please shout me a holler in the comments. I follow back. So overall, I do want to say this was a great documentary. I give it um, 10 out of 10. Really, she was very vulnerable. Um, I laughed. I cried. I know that's a saying, but I literally laughed out loud at some points and twerked a little bit. And I cried to the point where I had to pause the film. Um, it really got emotional. I feel like I know Megan now. Now, I'm not a big, big fan of Megan. I don't consider myself a hottie. But I do like some of her early music and I, you know, she's a woman, she's a black woman. So I relate to her on that level, but I wouldn't consider myself, you know, a hottie, but I don't hate the girl, you know. So the film starts off with her giving a flashback of her graduating from Texas Southern University um, in 2021. And then it flashed back a little farther with her being a child and admiring her mother. And then it takes on following her journey from Megan Pete to Megan the Stallion and really talking heavily about her mom and her relationship with her mom and how much she loved her mom. That part of the video was very emotional. It made her seem very relatable, human. She was so vulnerable. We got to see her mom in the film and see her relationship with her mom and the decline of her mom's health and passing in March 2019, right at the um, start of Megan's career, right when it was about to take off. It's sad that her mom didn't get to see where she is today. She also talked about her dad being in jail and rela her relationship with her dad when she came out of jail and, and that her dad passed away and died of a heart attack when she was in ninth grade, which makes her about 14 years old. So to date, she has lost both of her parents before the age of 25. In the film, you can see how her best friend, Kelsey, was there from the start. Kelsey was like a sister to her. So now it makes it a little bit harder to understand um, how their relationship could go so sour. We'll get into those details in a minute. But it's so sad um, after watching this film because they were really close. Kelsey was like her sister. And at some point, she even stated in the film that she stepped in to take Megan's mother mother's place. Seeing their relationship from the start makes you understand the feelings of depression and unaliving that Megan feels today. 30 minutes in, she started talking about her relationship with Tori and she talked about the night. I noticed she kind of breezed over or brushed over um, what they were arguing about. That would have been important. I noticed she does that when she tells a story. I'm not trying to say she plays the victim because in the shooting case, she is the victim. But when she tells a story, she kind of leaves out. She, admit, she admits the truth which makes her look more like a victim. She doesn't tell the full story. For example, she stated in the film that she didn't remember what they were arguing about. Honestly, I just think that's a flat out lie. She knew exactly what they were arguing about and Kelsey later revealed what it was. Come to find out, your ass was behind my back that I was on first. And that ain't right because you're supposed to be my best, you're supposed to be my best friend. Now, I will agree with Megan where she said even though they were arguing about that, Kelsey should have still had her back. I do agree with her on that. She basically brought Kelsey up and Tori wasn't a prize. Like he's nobody's man. Yes, she gained fame and she gained fans and hotties, but the amount of hate and the, her loved ones that she lost, including Kelsey, it has to be devastating. And like, and is it, all of this even worth it? The fact that Chelsea came up with Megan, her best friend, and it was that easy for her to give up her friendship and side with Tori, 
who would never side with her if it wasn't for the situation shows that she wasn't really her real friend anyway. It seems like Megan has the bros before hoes, but sis before this mentality when it comes to Chelsea and Tori. Like, you really gonna diss me over him? In my opinion, the real issue with Megan is that she is not truthful enough she doesn't tell the truth the first time and she keeps getting caught in lies and it makes her look like her, her credibility is shot at this point she should just take a page out of rihanna's book and just say the truth and whoever feels the way they feel it is what it is but she keeps lying or admitting the truth or just making herself seem like the victim and it's yes. not working i lied to gail king i know that even asked me about this just want to talk about the shooting why did you ask me about Story. That's not what this is about. Even if I was I like once, maybe twice on a drunk night, kept catching me out of my mind. Have an intimate relationship with him, like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you, have, <laughs> did you, Megan? <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. It's funny how that clip is going viral right now because. Throughout her film, she does talk about how everyone talks about everything else except for the shooting. But what she doesn't realize, and when she keeps lying, it takes away and distracts from the core of the story. Not only did she lie to Gail King, she also keeps lying and saying that her relationship with her best friend, Kelsey, was over money. She doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that it was over a man. She just skips over that part, which also makes her look like a liar. During her film, I noticed once she was um, telling the story about what happened that night, she had an animation, which she shows animation throughout the film, which I really enjoyed that part. I thought that was a great touch. But the animation did not match the actual story of that night, it didn't match anything that came out, even the witness's testimony. So that made it look like another lie. In conclusion, I believe Megan Thee Stallion was shot by Tory Lane. I do believe that he is guilty and he should serve some time. I do not believe that he should have been sentenced to 10 years, but I, I am not the judge or the jury, but 10 years does seem excessive because I do believe that it was an accident. I don't think that he meant to shoot her. They had a trauma bond. Um, Megan was going down a spiral through her life. She lost her mother. She was drinking, possibly doing drugs, and she met Tori at the lowest point of her life. They both were toxic for each other, and this is the result of it. And I do not believe that he should have got 10 years. And I do feel like she is a victim of the shooting, but I do not believe she handled it in the right way. I don't believe she has the right people around her. Maybe not the right PR person. Um, That's just my opinion. Overall, I would say the film is worth watching. It's an hour and a half, even though some parts could have been taken out to be shorter. It's a good watch. I would recommend it. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Bye.